Hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode. Thank you for tuning in. Today's topic is about getting immediate feedback and why that's so important. So one of the core concepts that is such a driver for people to be successful in life is improving their skill set. And that is so important because if you want to go from point A to point B, you have to have the skills to get from point A to point B. For example, if you want to go from climbing a small local mountain to climbing Mount Everest, you have to improve your skill set. And you do that through practice, you do that through learning, you do that through getting mentors, um, whatever it may be. If you equate that to the business world, that's getting advisors, consultants, learning new skills, doing training courses, going to workshops. Those are ways for you to improve your skills so you can go from point A to point B. One of the things that people miss out on when it comes to improving their skills, so this applies to you, but it also applies to your staff members, your employees, your team members. And anybody around you, your children, if they're learning something in school, what ends up happening is a lot of people miss out on getting feedback in a timely manner. And typically you want immediate feedback. And why is immediate feedback so important? It's important because your brain works off of immediate feedback to learn something. So what it does is if you try to go and and grab something with your hand and you miss it, there's a negative feedback loop system that basically says, oh, you missed it. This is how you adjust it. You move your hand to the right a little bit. And therefore, you actually learn how to pick that item up with your hand. Same, The same thing applies for how you learn any other skill. When you go to school, for example, or you take a training course, one of the things that they've shown that has been proven over and over again in studies that improves your skill set or your knowledge base through school or a training program is quizzes and tests. And I'm not talking about tests in terms of getting stressed out, right? That uh, and staying all night uh, up all night and studying for that test. That is pretty gruesome. But the purpose of a test is to give you feedback about your knowledge. That is the true purpose of a test or a quiz is to show you where you need to change your thinking or your your knowledge gap. That is feedback. A test or quiz is feedback. So tests and quiz for kids in school are important. I do agree that, you know, people shouldn't get so stressed out about them because that causes a completely different level. Some people stop learning altogether or hinder their learning because they're so freaked out about tests or quizzes. But used effectively, it's very important. So I'm talking about this in a roundabout way because I want you to understand why feedback is so important for you. If you are trying to learn something and you are not getting feedback in a timely manner, you are not advancing your skills. So if you're trying to improve your sales skills, for example, you have to have some kind of a measurement to tell yourself in a very timely manner that you're actually making progress. So that's why measuring results whether it's leading indicators or lagging indicators, you have to know that so you can actually fine tune your skills. You can make adjustments to improve your learning abilities and your skill set. The people that learn the best, this is something that I learned early on when I was younger, was the people that learn the best, the learn the fastest are the ones that get feedback faster. They're the ones that are constantly testing themselves and getting feedback from them uh, either themselves through tests or whatever form it is or through mentors. So again, athletes, why are athletes so good at what they do? Like the pro athletes compared to normal athletes, because they have coaches, they have trainers constantly giving them feedback and helping them fine tune their skills. They have, they have nutrition coaches, for example, they have workout coaches, they have play coaches, coaches that are out there um, helping with the plays. They have coaches for so many different things and so many different angles that they're constantly getting feedback almost immediately to fine tune their skills. That's why these guys in, in the sports world is so phenomenal because they have so much research, but they strap these guys and girls up with a whole bunch of equipment, get their stats almost immediately and share that feedback with the individual. Um, And so for you, if I can sum it up here, is in your life, in your journey, for your team members, anybody around you, take a look at what kind of feedback you are getting or the people around you are getting or the feedback you're giving to people. Is it accurate and is it timely? Or are you not giving feedback at all? 
because the more feedback they get in a constructive way in a shorter time frame allows you to learn better. It allows your staff to learn better and the people around you, your kids to learn better. So your mind shot for today is identify one skill that you're trying to improve. It could be anything. It could be playing the guitar. It could be learning a sales skill. It could be a coaching or whatever it may be in your life and identify whether you are getting the right feedback in a timely manner. Ideally, it should be instant feedback, but that's not always ideal for for people Uh, and it's not always possible. So identify whether you are getting that feedback. You, In a lot of cases, you probably aren't even getting any feedback at all. And if you are, it might not be timely. So try to shorten that time frame of getting that feedback because the shorter the time frame, the faster you're actually going to learn. And the faster you learn, the faster you get from point A to point B. And point B is your goal. I hope this helps and I wish you the very best. Take care.